Hey everyone, this is Mark, and uh, today I took a slightly different approach than last time. Um, I really didn't have any idea what I was sketching last time, I just kind of went for it. Um, but today I decided to use some photo references um, and sort of use those as a starting point. So I picked three pictures of these Honu turtle. Since I live in Hawaii, I thought I'd get some turtles and sea turtles. And um, on the first one, I used the photo reference much more deliberately. So I really went in there and really tried to um, uh, follow along as closely as I could with the original one, especially when I got down to the fine tuning of the uh, lines inside um, of the turtle. So here I'm sort of just sort of inking the general outlines of the shapes. But, um, and it looks ugly, I realize, because <laughs> I have no idea how to draw a turtle. But um, I'm sort of refining and going through. And as I mentioned last time, I do, I'm doing a lot of uh, erasing and inking and erasing. And I should back up. For those who don't know, this is, I decided I wanted to learn a lot more about digital painting, digital art, um, the concept art, that kind of stuff. I want to be able to do all that. So I thought I would just start from scratch and document myself. You know, every time I sit down and try and draw at least three or four times a week for like an hour, 90 minutes each time, I'm going to document it and stick up like this time lapse of myself doing it so that I can sort of see over time how I'm progressing and what skills I'm developing and growing through. So on this one, uh, on the first pic turtle picture, I, I went a lot more detail and, and I tried to follow along much more with the original photograph um, to some degree. I mean, th there's some artistic interpretation, but I, uh, I I took a lot less liberty with it and tried to be a little more specific with what I saw in the photograph. Um, so you can see here, I was doing uh, all the different little bumps and, and scales and things on the fins, on the flippers, I should say. Fins? Flippers? What are those on a turtle? I don't know. Um, and then the shell here, I was realizing, oh, I had it kind of all wrong. I was thinking of it like a hockey puck almost, you know, or something like that. And I realized it's not shaped like that at all. It's not like a thick edge. It's more like it tapers off on the, on the edges. So um, I started sketching it a little more carefully there. And I'm dragging the photo along to give myself the photo reference for each thing I'm doing so that I can really follow along and, and make sure it matches that. Um, and for the first one, I was okay doing that because uh, I was going to sort of step away from that each time. So now in the second one, I'm being a little less uh, specific. I, I'm still fairly specific, but I try and just be a little more freeform um, and a lot more deliberate with the initial sketching, like really trying to get in there and figure out the shapes and look at that em negative space. I don't know if you've ever read that book, Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain. It's been around for a bajillion years. Um, and then way back in the day, I, I followed along with that book just to sort of give myself an idea of, uh, it's, it's all about looking at the empty space or the shapes that something makes through like it in that two dimensional space and, and looking at it uh, away from knowing what it is. Cause when you look at this, you think, oh, turtle round and you just draw a circle, but it's not a circle. It's all these kind of empty negative shapes in there. So I tried to really focus on looking at the negative shapes and then using that um, with my uh, inking phase here. Uh, it's interesting, you know, I'm looking at this now, I'm realizing a lot of my angles are not even close to the photograph. I'm way off, but when you're in the middle of doing it, you don't realize that. You're, you're just kind of going along and, and doing it. And again here, I'm using the photo reference a lot more deliberately than I will in the next one, but not as much as I think as I did in the first one. So here I'm doing a lot more lines that represent the idea of something. I didn't go through and do all of the scale things, uh, all of the little circle-y reptilian type of shapes and stuff. I did it to some degree, but not nearly as exact and precise as I tried to do it on the first one. This one, I just tried to get the feeling of it a little bit more. Um, you know, not, not going quite as like, like you can see there on those, like kind of, I'm just sort of sketching and, and filling in the rough shape of it rather than trying to do each one specifically or I, exactly. Um, then coloring in the eye here and just sort of moving along and that second one down and then the third one and the third one is another turtle shape um, kind of the whole turtle this time um, and, I, and I kind of took away some of the outside things and, and then I just started 
you know, doing some freeform sketching and um, the sort of pencil layer, I guess you could say, just kind of working through it and trying to get the shapes. It's all about just getting the shapes and the, and the general uh, direction or flow of the lines within those shapes to sort of uh, get that three dimensionality out of it, to just sort of be able to represent what it looks like. Um, it, you know, it's not terrible. It looks like a turtle, but <laughs> it's still a lot of work I have to do. Uh, having that photo reference is really helpful though. Um, and while I don't think I can draw a turtle from, from memory right now, I, I feel like um, the photo reference is, is giving me the ability to uh, one, look at those negative shapes, but also uh, just think more in terms of the, my, my sketching to inking is I think becoming, I, I don't know what I'm saying. My sketching to inking is, is becoming a little better each time I feel like the technique is improving. Um, and when I look back at the very first one from, from yesterday, it was just yesterday, but looking at that versus today, I feel like it's getting easier each time to go through the sketching and the, and the inking uh, sequence and um, really refining and fine tuning that. See here, I look, again, I'm making the, sh the shell look like a hockey puck. It, it tapers on the edges, uh, except around the neck, but for the most part it tapers. There we go. Those are the turtles. I hope that was uh, interesting for you and uh, have a uh, wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye.